How did you not notice me throw that? Oh, fuck, I'm in trouble. Run! Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posy, piss off, bitch! His name is Argo Zero. What's going on, God Zero Nation? This is our God Zero, and we are back with another episode of Little Nightmares 2. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. If you have, you can continue showing that love by hitting that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, consider helping your boy out by hitting that subscribe button as well. If you've missed any episodes, check out the playlist in your own time. You're welcome. It is right down there for your convenience. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, enough from me. Let's get that gameplay going. Picking up the action exactly where we left off in the previous episode. As you can see, uh, we're in another decrepit building. Everything is literally falling apart. Jesus. Um. This door's got no no handle. Are we Are we pushing this bitch down? Is that what we're doing? We gotta hurry the fuck up. This building's coming down. Well well what a way to kick off an episode! Fucking jump! I don't think... No, I was just about to say, I don't think I died. Oh, no. Did my friend just die, though? No. Oh, they're alive. Thank God. Yeah, I'll pull you out. It's okay. I thought we'd lost them. They were lifeless for just a little bit too long. But now that I saved ya, let's get the hell out of here. I've got to say, this game so far has been phenomenal. It's caused me a lot of rage, which I'm sure you guys are enjoying at home. But the sound design, the visual design, the layout of the levels that we've played, the atmosphere, the ambience, the jump scares themselves, everything has been incredibly well put together. Oh, am I going to be able to touch the TV because I'm holding this block because it's not letting me put this block down? God for that. Let's just tune our way into this television like we always do. This one's a little bit more complicated than usual. Come on. Now, we haven't made it to the door yet. Are we going to finally be able to make it to the door? Or is this a scenario where we're going to fall short again? This is the furthest up the hallway we've gotten. I don't like that. Have we just unleashed Slenderman?
Oh, we done fucked up. Do you see that on the screen? Yeah, we fucked up. I'd be backing away from that screen. Oh, shit. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to be going. Where am I supposed to be going? Get out of the room, Zira. Go, little Zira. Oh, no, you got me. I hung around too long. Curiosity apparently kills more than the cat. Little Zero, do yourself a favor and get the fuck out of there! Hide under the bed. Hide under the bed. Oh no! Well, there goes our friend. Okay, so now I can teleport between televisions, apparently. There's only one way out of here and it looks like we're just going to go back up again. So what am I doing, just jumping from TV to TV? Seems to be the case. Ah, I see what's going to happen here. So we move the TV up to that ledge. We open this door, which will take us back into the room we were just in. And then it'll teleport us now to that ledge once we TV hop again. Like magic. This game just keeps getting curiouser and curiouser. This whole TV thing caught me off guard. I mean, I knew we would have things associated with the television because we've been sucked into it a few times, but I didn't think we'd have anything come out of the television, let alone us using it as, like, a teleportation device. I don't even know if that's a metaphor or if it's just a clever way of traversing the area. Oh, we've got a television remote. you. This will come in handy. How do we use it? There we go. Take me upstairs. Thank you. Okay, we can't reach that one, so it looks like maybe we're going to come backwards. What's down here? 
Hey, we got another hat. If I can pick it up. Thank you. And it looked like there was a vent. Okay, large gap to jump across. Easy done. This has to plop into the middle. For us to be able to, uh... Execute the jump. That's way too far. I want to put this TV on first, though. This is going to teleport us back to the start. Come on. Thank you. About there should be fine. Beautiful. So creative. Really well done. I'm an idiot. Let's try that again. It's a good thing we got that television to go back in time and have a have a mulligan. Let's make sure we line up the jump properly this time. Thank you. Let's go. Okay. Alright, well, we're going to be able to walk past her perfectly fine. Because while they're transfixed to the television, they won't actively come and chase us, which is absolutely brilliant. The only problem is, where are we supposed to go? Because with that television being on, I'm going to assume that we need to jump through that television... Even though they won't actively chase us. Damn, they didn't work. I was hoping if I threw that, I'd get their attention, but I was wrong. With them actively looking at the television, if we were to walk up next to them, they'd still attack us. There's a TV hanging outside. Hang on. Do I have to turn this television off to get her away from it? And then turn it back on and jump through it? How did you not notice me throw that? Oh fuck, I'm in trouble! Run! Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posy, piss off bitch! She got me. behind the chair how does she know I don't understand I'm not giving away my position she's transfixed to the television she has a bum hole for a face And I'm roasted. Okay. Because if I go right next to her, see, I'm dead. 
You can't just roll up next to her and, and have a crack. Can she spot me over here? Yes, yeah, she can! Of course she can! Okay, so I didn't think about this for starters. We should have turned this television on in the first place. Because how were we going to jump even if we did make that thing? And... Turn off. Because there's another television there for her to go to... I could have saved myself a lot of fucking drama. But we did it. Onwards and upwards. Let me climb, please. Oh, hang on a minute. Is he going to be stupid enough to just walk straight off the ledge? Oh, that's fu- Ha! Ah! Ah! Ha! That was fucking hilarious. Oh! Pull yourself up, little buddy. Across we go again. Wow. Are they all just going to systematically jump off? Yes. And they're all transfixed by that light in the sky, too. Alright, let's go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What made that more funny was headbutting the window on the way down. That was hilarious. I'm sorry. But what we need to do by the looks of things... There we go. can electrify the floor. Which will definitely come in handy because I can hear somebody creeping. I can hear a creeper. He's on the other side of this door. Okay. The only question is how do I get the door open? Is there something over here I'm missing? Hang on a minute. Do I just pull the planks off? 
Yep, that'll do it. Pull the planks off. Come in now, you bastard! Oh, shit! He came in. Right, so the idea is as soon as we pull off that second plank, we make a run for that lever. Run! Come chase me. Come on. Got him! Let's just make sure he's dead. We'll wait for it. There we go. So we turn that TV on. There's a TV in the elevator. Okay. Now where do we drag this? I've noticed these uh, chalk drawings on some doors. I don't know whether that is going to be accessible later on through DLC. I'm thinking that might be the case, because I don't think of any other reason why they'd mark it. Because as you can see, I can't get through this door for the life of me, but it's marked. And I've seen that mark at least two or three times in other locations. They 100% had that mark in the beginning of the game, and I saw that mark within the hospital as well. So I'm thinking the only thing we can do with this here is we use it to jump up and open up the elevator. Okay, we're supposed to pull this. And... Okay, so there's a middle level. And then it takes us to the top. Hang on a minute. Are we supposed to jump? No, 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 no. Don't jump. I've lost my opportunity. What we should have done... Because that's going to be too far of a fall now. I think what we're supposed to do... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now jump down. I'm supposed to get through that hole. And I didn't get up in time. How about we do this properly one time, please? Pull the lever. Get in the TV. Zero, get ready to jump. Took too long. Because I... Because I was accidentally pressing the joystick up, I turned to go into the TV again and lost my window. Welcome to our God Zero's YouTube channel where uh, most of the time you'll see me spending my time being an absolute moron. Go! Go! Get up! Go! God damn it! I feel like the only logical way we're going to be able to do this 
is if we pull the lever. No, no. Television hop. Go now. Go, 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 go. Oh, thank Christ for that. 